So if you watched my uh, last video on uh, testing the gold box, trying to process heavy volcanic sands, it did okay. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't designed to do this. Um, actually, I wasn't, it was, I was impressed with the results considering it was some really heavy material. But like everything else, I think it can be better. So I didn't, wasn't planning on doing this, but this is a part two. And I'm going to bring you along the process. Um, it's a little messy in here because I'm in design mode. And uh, I know this gold box can do better. And I'm a firm believer that one tool should be, to be able to do multiple tasks. You shouldn't have to buy 10 separate pieces of equipment to do 10 different things. So I think I've come up with a concept. I'll, uh, I'll go into explaining it a little more, show you, and then uh, show you a running, and then show you the results. And I'm actually, uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed. So uh, let's, uh, let's get on with this. So I thought I'd take a few seconds to just uh, show the model of uh, the gold box and the features. Um, the lighting, especially with the water, can be a little too much reflective. So this will, uh, I think this will be easier to see. But um, this is the basic gold box. This is what I print out. And you can see inside here how aggressive these features are. This um, software kind of amplifies the look of it. Once you print it, they're not as uh, you know aggressive looking as it is here. But but this is what you want. You want all these features that are going to create turbulence, low pressure zones, vortexes to get that gold to settle out. But as I found out, when you start running really or all heavy black sands, these features are just roadblocks. It just piles up and it just traps the gold and it just it can't move the gold the, the black sand out without cranking up the pressure and then when you do that you risk having the gold follow the black sand all the way out so the only other way would be to reprint the box make these features smaller but then I lose its overall general purpose use and this thing actually works really good uh, the efficiency is incredible for most materials so I didn't want to do that so I came up with a concept how about an insertable tray that has smaller features it allows me to turn the pressure way down so the gold has time to slowly go over these settle out and then the black sands can roll over the gold and work its way out and one cool thing is lettering actually works really great as a feature for separating out gold so I'm allowed to put the wording I needed just kind of a quick expl explanation Final cleanup for removing black sands from gold. And you'll actually start finding gold pieces settling out into here. So you get two features out of one. But I thought I'd just show you some of the features. Like I said, this will make it a little more, it'll show a little more detail. So in theory, this should work way better than the results I was getting before. I already printed this out. It's out in the garage, so let's uh, let me uh, get to that, and then you can see how these changes, how, how much of a difference this made. As I was showing with the models, you can see that the features in this gold box are pretty prominent, which is great for general purpose. You know, for for normal material. This actually works really good. It creates enough divots and turbulence in here to process out a majority of the black sands if, you know, if you're just dealing with more normal material. But what I found on the last video is these, as you know, it works great for that scenario, but when you get into just pure heavy black sands, these are just, they're too big. They're just too prominent. It's just, you need very subtle definitions and stuff for the the black sand just to lightly separate from the gold so you can run it a little lower pressure you know with big features like this i'd have to crank up the pressure really high which just blows out the gold it's just too much of a pressure for both and it just it's gone so the concept was to create something that had lighter features that would insert in and just to show you 
This is a little more than last time, but that's pretty much the black sand I was running last time that's full of gold. We'll be running that once I get this set up. But this insert... Just slips in the box like that. Now, instead of having to go through all those, you know, more aggressive features, it's very fine. And I can turn the pressure down and slowly work with the pressure to work with these different little settings and just let it slowly work out. So this is, the first rev was pretty close to this. Um, I was getting a lot of pocketing. So I added more uh, radiant, uh, a chamfered edge here, here. I added one here, one, all the, wherever you see a, a chamfer, that was an area where I was getting a ton of pocketing because it didn't have the water pressure to push it out. So this forces the material to stay in the center where all these voids are. And it'll just slowly work out. So let me get this together. I'll, I'll get the camera set up in a, a position where we can watch it. And I'll start feeding it. And then you'll start slowly seeing the black sands work its way out. This isn't the final revision. I, I, there is a couple more tweaks. And I'll show you why when, after this runs. But uh, it, it's pretty damn close. So let's, uh, let me uh, get it set up. And then you can watch it run. Hopefully that's a good angle so you can see everything. I got the pressure turned way down. Just for reference, uh, the back pressure I use as a gauge, it's going about halfway up the black tube. And I'm going to start feeding it now. I'm using a small spoon to feed this in. And just slowly letting it work its way out. This is, a, this is one step you can't rush. And as you can see, the, the black sands are eventually working their way out. The longer it stays running, the, the cleaner the gold will be. Which is nice with this setup. It's Once the gold gets put in a position, it usually doesn't move. So I could let this thing run for an hour and that gold will still be in that same position. I don't know if you can see it. There is some gold settling right in the, in the letters. Some gold right here. I'll zoom in in a second. I'm just letting uh, the black sand slowly work their way out. And that first corner takes a little more effort for it to, to work around. So you, you see it every once in a while. It just It finally releases and it starts going around the corners. If I can zoom in on this. See the gold. Lightly settling. You see the black sands is lightly working their way out, which is what you want. You don't want to go in too fast because it'll take the gold with it. And it's just, just having a little patience. Just slowly whittling down. The great thing is, a lot of the material isn't going out the exhaust chute. It's actually staying in here in the bottom of the box. So if anything does get out through here, you can pan, uh, put this in a pan after and then re just rerun it. So most of your tailings, because they're so heavy and I got the pressure down to low, are actually staying right here, which is really nice. But it's just a matter of just give it time. probably just turn it up just a tad more the pressure on this thing is very sensitive it's easy to overshoot but it doesn't take much just to rerun the material again we got a few more scoops and then we'll just give it some time to process
Okay, that's all the material. Now it's just a waiting game. See it separating really nice. All right, I'm gonna let this thing run for about five minutes, and then we'll uh, I'll turn the phone back on, and we'll I'll show you the the results. So that was about three minutes. You see, almost all the black sand's out. I did kind of figure out something, which usually you never want to do this, but because of this gold box, just give it some taps. If you have some stub stubborn black sand that just won't work its way out. Just like tapping on a pan gets everything moving. You can just give it some like taps. You know, you don't want to shake it like crazy, but just some like vibrations will just kind of get that black sand moving. I could play around with the pressure to get a little more out, but I just I just want to show you this. It's actually not too bad. So uh, let me uh, let me get this look, cover off, and we'll, we'll uh, do some close-ups and a cleanup. All right, I got the cover off. You can see all the gold, especially around the front half, is which I really like to see. Now this tray does come out and you empty it out into the gold pan, which I'm going to show you in a second. But if you were to fill this with water in a snuffer bottle, you could suck up a lot of this gold that's away from the black sand. Because most likely you'd want to run this again if you really wanted to get out the rest of this black sand. But just to save some time, if the pieces are by themselves, you could easily just snuffer those things up. Just, you know, just get things make it easier but actually not bad that's I lost a lot of material and as I mentioned before what light most of the blacks are staying in here they don't have enough energy the, are some are still getting out but most of them are staying in here but some do get out the exit so if any gold did get over into here most likely it's going to be here and we can find that out in the pan and just just rerun it if there is anything. Or if it's just one or two specs, you probably just snuffer it up, call it a day. But actually not too bad of results for just something I thought of during the last video. And then uh, I, a little design and 3D printing, I was able to bring it back into, or bring it into reality. One thing before I pull this apart, I've been noticing on um, some videos of people running this, and I learned this too the first time. Because of the pressure, this hose always wants to separate here. You see this little gap? That is like a first ridge in a sluice. The gold's gonna come down here and pieces will get stuck there. So whenever you pull this thing apart, whether you're doing this or on the river running it, you know, a higher pressure, empty this out into the box or into a pan. Don't just let that sit and fall down. It's not always full of gold, but I've had gold sit in here that, a few times like i said that's the basically becomes the first ripple it actually works really good so as long as you know it's there you don't have to worry about it because you're going to get it but just to let you know especially as um if the kits knew these things are tight and this 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 one has been used for almost two years now a lot of use so this is a little looser um you can do with a hose clamp i just i don't like hose clamps having to bring an extra tool out there to loosen tighten especially if you're always pulling this thing apart but it, it's your preference but I know that some gold will be there, so I'm going to make sure I take that. I'll dump it, not into the tray, but I'll dump it into the box or a pan and, and get any pieces out. Just, just an FYI. I just wanted to point that out. But uh, let's, let's take this out. It should come out. And just right, just like the gold box, get, fill it with water and... Quick once over. Other than some rocks, I'm not seeing any gold. Let me do this. Get away from that light so there's not so much glare. Let's see, get it over here. But as you can see, that's probably like a tablespoon of material. Now I'm down to almost a teaspoon.
and there's the gold. Separating a lot easier because a lot of the heavies have been removed. So cleanup just got a lot easier. Again, I could run this again, but most likely I would just I would just try to snuff her out as much as I can and then run one more time with whatever is in here. And maybe if one or two pieces got in there, but you can see there's not much tailings came out. So everything pretty still stayed in the box. With the insert, it was able to, to filter out a lot better. So I'm very pleased for something I just slapped together, you know, a couple of days after the last video. I'm actually, uh, I'm impressed I was able to dial in in this quick. One more slight issue I'm noticing. It's pretty thin on the, I didn't have much room to make the, the bottom floor of this thing. I don't know if you can see this. But because of that, there's just a little gap at the beginning of that inlet, and there is some gold dropping down in there. So I am gonna I'm gonna revise that. So if you ever see one of these from this point on, this feature is gonna be a little different to just minimize that. But just to let you know, you may, you may get a few specks. It's like looks like there's two or three right there. It's hard to tell which ones are what in, through the camera, but there's definitely one one good size one. Let me zoom in a little more. Yeah, it's not going to focus. But just to let you know, it is going in there. But I'm going to. That's going to be a quick revision before I make the final to, to ship out. So, like I mentioned, this this box wasn't designed to run this this you know hard black sand and try to get all that little flower gold. But uh, I was able to do it. So from um, what did it say January twentieth, twenty twenty five is when I'm filming this. Anybody who bought a box. Before this, I have your uh, shipping address. I will sh send you one of these for free as an add-on to the kit. And then from this point on, all kits will have that included. It's a couple bucks of material, uh, a few hours to print that up. So it'll take a little while just to get caught back up to get enough for each kit. But it's a cheap add-on, and I, I think it's great. Not everyone's going to be dealing with that black sand. Um, Probably 90% of us will never even use that insert tray, but if you do live in an area where you're dealing with the heavy black, like say beach sands with the, fl the flower gold, and you just need something to help process it out, now you have an option. So I kind of like this challenge. This was fun. You know, I, I wasn't planning on doing this. Uh, the last video, like I said, I thought the box was going to do better. I was actually glad it didn't because it gave me an opportunity to make a quick improvement, luckily on the cheap, and then I can make it even better. And it actually made me think of the future that I could actually design different insert trays for different types of material. So this was actually, I, I enjoyed this one. This helped me, uh, it opened up a lot of ideas for, uh, for the next revision of this. Maybe next year I'll get more into that. But for right now, the box is running great for normal material. And now it can help process the stubborn black sand material. So, anyways, uh, have a great day. Um, I got some work ahead of me. I, I got to get these things up to speed and all the kits. But uh, this is great. This was this was a fun exercise. I love challenges, and I over I was able to overcome this one. So, uh, until next time, stay tuned. There's uh, some more exciting stuff coming.